Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you are enjoying this series. If so, consider subscribing and liking this video. In this video, we are going to talk about few options in uh, npm install that we already did and how does it matter to you and how this package.json file changes for you, right? So you've already seen uh, whatever we do here, we, we do npm install, it brings some few folders or packages in this node module folder, right? Now the thing is, there are two ways to do it, right? And there are two ways to add it, basically. So that for understanding this, you need to understand there are two kinds of dependencies in your project. One is prod level dependency. Prod level dependency means that the the, the dependency that will be used in production when your application is production that dependency will be used by your application or project non-prod dependency is known as dev dependencies as well that is only required at a time of local development such as testing files right testing libraries that is only is is to test your code in local like your unit test or e2e -E test just to test your code that is working fine or not right but that is not required that is not required by your project in production, right? That is only required in uh, local testing or uh, anything, right? Let's take another example as well, right? For example, running your local dev server, there, there could be a, a library that runs a local dev server for your project. That is not, could not be required in production, right? Th there will be separate environment where application, your code will be deployed and it will run itself, right? So. There are two kinds of dependency. One is dev dependency and one is prod level dependency and that, that are separated by uh, dependency and dev dependency, right? Let's see how to install it. So I'm gonna uh, do one thing. I'm gonna uh, go to my uh, terminal and install a prod level dependency. And this is required by my application in the production as well, right? So that is simpler and, and we have already done that, right? So let me go to my, this particular, website and pm website right and install few of the dependency right for example i go to this and i first for some dependency for example uh, loader right it will give me some dependency so if 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 you if you so this is asset loader so this is updated six years ago i don't recommend it because just make sure that your files are upgraded regularly when you are when you are using them when, when you are using that package right so for example let's consider this sas loader so the, i want this sas loader to be a dev dependency right so i copy this command so just just see that particular json package.json file and how it changes right so this particular uh, dependency does something with sas it, it loads the sas and, and compile this to CSS, right? So I want to add this at, at a dev dependency. So what you do, you do npm i sas loader and you do, there is a flag known as minus minus save dash dev. Let me expand a bit so you can see properly. npm i, the package name, minus minus save dash dev. Now let's see what my package does and looks like. It only have dependency key. Now, I go and hit save, hit enter for my package installation. Let's wait for some time and see the changes in package.json file. This might taking some time because my recording is running and uh, there are a lot of th things running in the background. So might have take time, but let's wait for a uh, couple of seconds stalling it it getting all the files from npm uh, registry to my node modules folder so if you see there were few folders itself now there are tons of folder in this node modules right installed yeah if you see this is installed now and our pick packet.json have a new key now known as dev dependency so this is how it works. Adding a dev dependency, you add this tag and it comes to this dev dependency. So this dev dependency are the dependency which are not required in a prod level when your application is in production. These are not required. These were just required for a local testing or local development environment, right? 
Now the question comes up how to install prod level dependency. We have already done that. If you do npm i, so for example, load as, load as is another popular JavaScript library and don't do any flag, don't give any flag, right? It will default come to our production level dependency. Let's see. It is also installing and it'll take some time, a couple of seconds. Let's see. Yeah, it is installed and it comes in dependency, right? So there are two ways again, uh, dev level dependency with minus minus save dash dev and without save dash dev it will come to prod level dependency. I hope it was clear and in the next video we are going to talk about how to install a dependency. Till then hit the subscribe button and if you are liking this series just share with your friends so make sure that they learn also about npm and with that take care goodbye.